Hello, this is Nathan from OneWebStreet.com and this is a tutorial on Uptime Robot and how to configure it with your WordPress website. So, to begin, I'm going to go to UptimeRobot.com and I'm going to sign up. So you can either click up here in the right or start monitoring. So I will click here and be taken to this registration page. I will enter my information. And sign up. All right, it says that I have an account. I need to go to Gmail to, or your email to verify that you have registered for the account. All right, here we are, Uptime Robot. Click on that. Hi, thanks for registering from Uptime Robot, the free website monitoring service. In order to start monitoring your websites, please activate your account by clicking here. All right, so click that and boom, account activation. The account is activated successfully and you can now log in and start monitoring. All right, so I'm going to log in um, now that I've created my account with Uptime Robot. Um, okay, so the dashboard is loading. All right, so here is my dashboard. Um, okay, so I'm going to click on Add New Monitor. Okay, we're going to add a HTTP or HTTPS. Um, okay, so friendly name. So this is just going to be, um, I'm just going to use uh, One Web Street. All right, and the uh, URL is onewebstreet.com and our monitoring interval. So this is going to be where we can decide on how often we want uh, Uptime Robot to ping our site. All right, so the fastest interval time is five minutes and the longest is every 24 hours. So this is really up to you. And I think just for this um, example, um, I'm going to say every 30 minutes. Um, but you can choose however often you want it to ping your site. Um, okay, and then we have some other options here. Um, authentication settings, I'm just gonna leave those blank. Um, so then, this is important, um, it says select the alert contacts to notify. When your site, or if your site goes down, um, basically, who should Uptime Robot contact? And so, in this example, since I'm already a user, um, we're just gonna click this so I get my email gets notified and um, if you want to create other person other people to notify then you can um, adjust that in the settings so I'm gonna click create monitor okay it says monitor created you can keep creating new monitors okay so for the purpose of this uh, tutorial I'm just gonna create one okay so I'm gonna close that um, okay so here's our one web street um, we should be good to go. All right, welcome back. Um, I'm going to log in to show you the status of our monitoring service on Uptime Robot. So since I've already created a login, um, when I come back to the site, I can just click login. Um, I'm going to enter my credentials. And now that I'm being redirected to the dashboard, give it a moment to load. All right, so as we can see, um, we still have one web street here. Um, we have some quick stats on the monitor. Um, looks like it's good so far. Um, there's no down errors, um, which is good. That means that our site is up and um, everything looks good to go. So you can log into your log to your dashboard um, just to check on your site. Um, you will be emailed um, an alert notification if the site is to ever go down. 
So you shouldn't have to feel like you need to constantly be logging in to make sure that your site is working all right um, because you'll be emailed if and when it goes down. Um, one other thing that I wanted to cover was what if you want to add other people um, to get notified if the site is down. Um, earlier in the tutorial, I just added myself when I configured um, it, the monitor originally. So if I go to my settings, um, then I can scroll down. So as we can see right here, I already have myself. Um, so if I wanted to add someone, then I can add someone. Um, now there's multiple different um, contact methods, such as a text or a Twitter or other services, as you can see here. I'm just going to add another email. Um, and so this is going to be my friend Andy, who doesn't really exist. And I'm going to enter his email address, andy at gmail.com. Um, this is just for um, tutorial purposes, so this is just a fake uh, person. And then I would click Create Alert Contact, and that person would then be added. Thank you for watching this tutorial about how to configure Uptime Robot. I hope that you found it helpful and informative. Again, my name is Nathan from OneWebStreet.com.